Welcome to the Traffic Steering Lab Overview. In this lab, you'll configure the device directly instead of using templates. This allows you to make changes directly on the device that take place immediately without going through the template commit process. Traffic Steering is considered an SD-WAN policy, so it's configured under the SD-WAN services. You'll begin by creating basic forwarding profiles which define how traffic that is assigned to each forwarding profile will be treated. Add the forwarding profiles as described in the lab guide. Each forwarding profile will have designated primary and secondary links to use for traffic assigned to the profile. Once the forwarding profiles are created, you'll create SD-WAN policies to identify traffic and assign it to a forwarding profile. Because you're performing these changes in device context mode, they take effect immediately. You'll verify that the SD-WAN policies are in place through the Monitor tab. You can verify that traffic is assigned to the different forwarding profiles by running test scripts on the connected testing host machine. The sample SD-WAN policies use DSCP bits in the ICMP packet headers to identify traffic and assign it to a forwarding profile. Once you've finished verifying that basic traffic steering is working, you'll create SLA profiles that are used to define properties that PASS must have in order to be in compliance. Create the two SLA profiles so that SLA probes and path information can be used to gather statistics for forwarding profiles. Create additional forwarding profiles that will use the SLA profiles to determine what path should be taken based on the SLA profile statistics. Create a new policy to identify specific URL categories or applications that should be assigned to the different forwarding profiles, and therefore should use different paths when available. You'll verify that the forwarding profiles are in place using VersaDirector. The final step of the lab will modify the SLA probe settings on the device to send SLA probes between sites in the best effort forwarding class. You'll enable adaptive monitoring and verify that the SLA probes will go dormant after a configured amount of time, and that the probes will activate again once site-to-site -site traffic is sent between the sites.